Coach Ramon here. Uh, I'm a solution provider. Uh, my good friends call me Rocky. Uh, today we'll be discussing Bob Dylan going electric. It happened on July 25th, 1965 at the New Newport Music Festival. Let's get it, bra. July 25th, 1965. Bob Dylan plugged in and completely ruined folk music. He pretty much said, look, folk music is not cool. Rock's what's up. And pretty much ever since that day, at the Newport, uh, since the Newport Folk Festival, folk music has just been for old fogies, people in the rocking chair. Ever since Bob Dylan went electric, he said, fuck you, folk music, you're boring. And what we got from it was uh, Highway 61 Revisited, which is arguably the greatest rock album of all time. Now, there's an urban legend at this folk festival. Um, Bob Dylan, he went to like Safeway, picked up some burnout to play his electrified instruments. He uh, usually, at his uh, older performances, he came out dressed like a working man. Kind of like a um, William Regal type. It was crazy. Uh, he nearly uh, incited a riot that night. Um, when he did go into like a Rolling Stone, he sounded much better. The crowd started actually cheering a portion of them. Uh, he was already moving a generation, starting at a festival. Um, Pete Seeger, who is a real old fuddy duddy, he allegedly had an axe, urban legend has it, and tried to cut the cords to cut Bob Dylan off. He was unsuccessful. Um, after three songs, Bob Dylan left. There was booze, there was cheers, there was confusion. Um, Peter, uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary, or Paul, uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary, one of those two guys, uh, convinced Bob to come back out. He performed a few more songs, uh, Tambourine Man, and uh, Bye Bye Baby Blue. Um, and no, he, he left, you know, standing ovation, pretty much. Uh, now, the, the next shows he would do, uh, coming up, uh, people would come and start pelting him and his band uh, with different uh, food, different any object they could get. Uh, there was people who wanted to literally kill this man because he wouldn't play the music they wanted to hear. He went his own direction. This night, Bob Dylan, he came dressed all decked out in black. They used to call him the man in black, or maybe that was Johnny Cash. Uh, but Bob Dylan, he came out, and he was looking bad. He was ready to dab on them haters, bro. Uh, drop Dil Bob Dylan, he dropped these songs that just came out. So no one at this festival even knew the songs he was about to play. So when he went into, um, I ain't working on Maggie's song. No, I ain't working on Maggie's farm no more. Uh, people, well, because of the band, and because it was so electrified and so loud, they just kind of heard garbled noise, and what Bob Dylan heard was a chorus of booze. So after Bob Dylan goes electric, he got all these bands uh, doing electric covers of all of his old material. It's pretty hilarious. Um... But now, if you guys have any uh, time on your hands, I suggest reading uh, Dylan Goes Electric by Elijah Wald. I give it five stars. I'll put a link down below, or a description down below. Um, also, if you have more and more time on your hands, check out uh, Martin Scorsese's No Direction Home. <laughs> it's a biography on Bob Dylan. It's a great watch. I give it five stars. I've actually been, um, I borrowed a copy and I've been delaying giving it back. But anyways, um, this whole Bob Dylan Goes Electric, it changed music forever. Uh, before this, folk music used to be 
the music played at college campuses. It was the hip music at the time. It was like more cool, more in than uh, rock. Uh, Elvis was doing movies. He was a sellout. The whole it was a weird world back then. Dylan, he revived good good rock and he he was the voice of the '60s. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If I missed anything, leave a comment down below. Uh, catch me soon. It's pretty much every day now, huh? Also, remember when you're with Coach Ramon, you can't get any more low, 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 low. <laughs>